What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome to episode number one of Burgers and Dogs Across America. I'm going to be your host. I'm A.B., so let's get it. Okay, folks, so listen, this show and this series is all about, listen, we're going to go to all the different states, you know what I mean? Sometime I'll be going physical, sometime I'll be doing them just in my backyard or in the kitchen, right? We're gonna be doing burgers and dogs. And listen, I'm gonna keep it real simple. I'm gonna start off with California, and guess what, folks? We are starting off with the Dodger Dog. Did you guys know that they don't even sell the Dodger Dog at the stadium no more? Listen to this, this is why they stopped. In 2021, the Dodgers announced that they were no longer sourcing the dogs from Farmer John, which had the contract for like 50 years. Now, Farmer John didn't even uh, share the recipe with their successor. So Papa Cantonella set out to recreate them themselves. And these are the dogs that you see in the video today. And the price for the Dodger dog was $6.50 a dog. Okay, folks, so look, after looking at that, you see, you know, like it's not a whole lot of ingredients. And to be honest with you, this is probably like how most people make theirs, you know, at home already, right? So you saw we had mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. You know what I mean? The uh, only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make it the traditional way. And I told you what makes it traditional is, look, these are 12 inches, folks. Okay, y'all, so look, this is how we gonna do this, right? So instead of me using the rollers, like you guys can probably see right now, obviously I'm using the grill. I'm gonna go ahead and just grill these this way. I'm gonna go ahead and put these over here on this side for right now. I don't want them to roll. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on my own, right? So we'll just put them like that and we'll just get these cooked. And then one thing about this series, I'm gonna make them my way, folks. That's how we are gonna do that. So I'll start with just those three. Then I can take this here. I can turn this around. You know, just get it a little bit closer if I want to put this over there. Because listen, we want to get a little heat on there, but I don't want to like beat them all up. Them are going to be the ones I like, the crispy ones. Okay, so if you guys come on over here and look, take a look what I'm doing. I just take them since I'm using my grill, right? I just take them and roll them like this. I'm going to physically roll them. This one that was on the outside, it's just now starting to get some heat. This one will almost be done in just one second. Okay, folks, so I want you to come in here and take a look at this right here. Look, I'm moving these around like this. These is cool. But I got a way that I like to do them where they level up for myself, right? And that's when I put them splits. I mean, those little slits in there. Or some of you guys will spiral them all the way around. But right now, I'm just going to take it, take this one, and put it right here. And you know that's how the Dodger dogs come. Let me go ahead and get some more buns. Let me move these because I don't want to overcook these no more. Even though if it was for me by myself, I would. Okay, so these right here is what I like to do when I say I like to do mine just a little different, right? Now you saw me put just a little bit of char on there, right? But what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, this, now this part is really up to you, right? So I'm really being ginger about, you know, and being light, because if you cut them too deep, they're gonna tear up, you know what I mean? When you cook them, they'll try to turn, you know, and, 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 and bend on you and all of that. And then when you go to take them off, it'll be hard to get them off, right? But the purpose of this is, we just want to get a little char on each end, on that end and that. That give it a little bit more crispiness and it allows that flavor for them charcoals to get down in that meat. All right, so you just see me cut these, right? They not too deep, right? So this is what I do. I'm gonna start with them down right there, right? You see them, we just put them down anywhere, whatever you think is down. And because I'm cooking over these coals, trust me, this is hot, folks. Okay, so look, I'm gonna give a little pro tip. If you guys are paying attention right here, see how dark that is right here? When I turn this over here, see it's dark under there like that and not so much on the other side. So if I wanna slow that down or make sure I get that, I bring that down, get this away from the heat, right? So I'm gonna move this over, look at it. Uh, yeah, it's starting to turn for me. There we go, let me see. Turn this over. I can see on this side, look. See over there, it's not. So I put it back over here like that and then I bring it down, right? And these right here give me that color that I'm looking for. Right, so you see that right there? Let me bring that around so y'all can see it. All right, I'll just take it, bring it like that, and fix this bed, close him up, and look at that. Ooh okay, folks, so look, I want you guys to come down here and take a look at this, right? So listen, I got three dogs right here. I'm gonna choose one of these three to represent the Dodger dog, right? Now, keep in mind, the Dodger dogs don't have this on there right here. They don't have that flavor because they be on rollers, right? So over here, 
if you look, now this is what I'm gonna do, my level up, my version of a Dodger dog. Now I want you guys to tell me, if this was number one, number two, and number three, which one of these do you think that I'm gonna use to make my dog? All right, so obviously I took the one in the middle, that's gonna be my Dodger dog, right? But when you take a look over here, I remember this was one, two, and three. I'm gonna pick this one right here because I know that's the one that got all the flavor. So you guys can see it right there. Ooh, look at that right there. Yep, so this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna do. Right? And so what makes it a Dodger dog? It's the fact that it's 12 inches long and it hang out like it do, right? You ain't got them hanging out like that, you ain't got nothing, folks. Making it a Dodger dog is real simple, folks. Really, ketchup, mustard, mayo if you guys like it. You gotta have onions and you can have uh, relish, right? Now that's sweet relish. Okay, folks, look, you guys got a chance to see me putting these together right here. These were fire. Uh, hey, just a presentation. You know what, I, I got it. Some of y'all gonna say they just a dog or whatever, but when you start seeing this on here, that right there, for those of you guys that do know, that do a lot of grilling of hot dogs, stuff like that, you know, for your friends and family, you know that's right there, it takes it over the top. Now, this one right here, this is the traditional Dodger dog. You know what I mean? Obviously, they don't put theirs on the grill or nothing like that, but this is how this one came out. This is gonna be great too, but the char. Right? I know that one's great. You guys let me know which one of these would you like. I want to read all the comments and all of that down in the comment section below. But I'm going to take this one right here, folks. Check it out. Oh, you want to get a close up? Come on. Look at that right there. It's all in there. You can't see the ketchup, but trust me, it's there. And I'm going to go ahead and pause right now because I know what I'm about to do. But I'm about to get it in, folks. Pause. Woo! I gotta say this right now. These Dodger dogs is like right on the money. You know what I mean? I almost wanna say these is even better. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, you guys gotta give them a chance. This right here, the flavor, I don't know what they did, but it just uh, tastes right. For those of us that's on the West Coast that got a chance to go to the Dodger game, look, just the fact that you make this, your brain say, hey, we at the game again, right? Having fresh onions, sweet relish, ketchup, and then for me, mayo. Now, I want you guys to tell me down in the comment section below, how do you like yours? Because I talk to a lot of people, some people say you just want mustard and ketchup. Some people say they don't put mayonnaise on theirs. You know what I mean? I do. So let me know down in the comment section below. And guess what, folks? I got a good one for you. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. We're gonna do a burger next week, right? And it's gonna come from the Sooner State. If you guys know, put that down in the comment section below too. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? Episode one is down. See you next week. I'm out. Peace.